Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Spear and I'm here with the video to talk about something specific and that I uh, saw on a lot of videos on YouTube about a game of spiritual body but it has to do with near-death experiences and uh, basically the, the big little nugget in terms of um, how people how the people feel toward uh, when they see when they die and they look over to their to their physical body that they were previously in and how they feel about that and how um and and, and, and i want to talk about this because i've seen a lot of, of the youtube uh videos of near death experiences as you know on my channel on my featured channels on the right it has um nde accounts and that one is the you know that i, I like because they have good ones there you could check that out but on that channel i saw a lot uh, I, I saw a lot of videos of people had uh, near, death, near, near death experiences and uh they all were kind of the same like this is one with a woman i can't remember her name but she said that uh um when when she was alive when she was living she was very fearful and had a lot of anxiety and uh had a lot of worries and was very you know physically weak and not uh not very engaging and uh and but when she passed away i think it was due to uh uh, electrocution or something like that you know out in the street somehow and she said that uh that when she died uh, you know she it took her a while because she was coming in and out of consciousness and she was you know slowly uh, you know seeping in to death slowly you know to where she completely was gone and then what happened was was that when her spirit was hanging over her laying body on the ground she felt no fear no anxiety and no fear and no worries at all it was like as if uh she was completely neutral neutral the situation it's like um it's like when you go visit your friend's house and you enter the home and you see the family members there and uh, you don't feel nothing toward them because you know it's a new environment you don't know the people and that's basically how it is that you feel neutral toward everything you just kind of see it as just is like you know so walking into a store and seeing clothing you don't feel emotionally connected to the cashier or the or, or feel excited about the clothing you're just neutral about it because you you're just there and that's how it is when you're dead is that you're uh, you uh what i believe is that uh the woman um what i think is happening is that we have a lot of anxieties if uh when we're in, in the living body and we have a lot of fears and what it is is that it's almost as if uh, it's uh it's an automatic uncontrolled thing like we, it's like uh it's like um once the spirit enters that body makes a decision to become that person that the, it's like uh it's like 50 50 the spirit the real spirit has ability to kind of make decisions and to stop you know and at the same time the living body cannot really um, help itself but be what it is you know so like the spirit and the living body are kind of clashing a little bit in terms of you know like you make a decision to come into a body and you're like that woman you're born as that woman so that you can have anxiety you know have fear and learn how it is to be fearful and weak and meek like a small woman you know that has to have a burly man around her or is always indoors and fearful of walking in the streets because of thugs and, and one big thing that uh, that the near-death experience is is that this is the biggest thing is that is that it's kind of like waking from a dream like this is the big thing is that like have you ever noticed that when you're in a dream you're completely emotionally engulfed in it you know um you know you're, you're just involved you know like you feel as though this is like everything to you you know like you're being chased by a monster or you're you're, you're in a, a war and you have these friends around you and you don't even know who the heck they are but in the dream they're, they're, they're your best buddies you've known for years or something like that but then when you wake up and, 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 and you're sitting on, on your bed and, and you're thinking about your dream you're kind of like for a few moments you feel as though you miss it you know you're thinking about wow that was a fantastic dream man i was so involved in it I, 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 man it was so awesome but then after a few moments of, of like going and making your breakfast and, you know of being awake i feel like about like 20 minutes or something you let go of it and that's what death is is that life is that dream life is that dream like right now we're in a dream state and right now we're so engulfed and so involved but when you die and you wake up 
for a few moments maybe you do miss it but but you, you let go you let go of it because to you it's like a it's like a it's fake it doesn't have power it doesn't really have power like it used to it's not engaging like it used to when you're in it and 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 when you do let go of it and forget about it you don't feel no remorse or no guilt of forgetting about it it's just like a real dream like when you're having a dream you're in a ball but when you wake up you can easily just let go of it you know like a few moments you care about it and then 21 minutes later you just forget about it and you and you only know um why are you worried about it so much? And that's what that's what living is. Living is like a dream. When you die, that's when you really awake. That's when you wake up. When you die, people think you know the old the old uh, thing is is that people think that oh well you know this is life. This is all there is. When you die, you're black out. You're done. But no, now it's the opposite. Now when you die, you actually wake up and you look back at, at your body and the, and the world and your room and all that stuff. And you look back on it, and it's like. Yeah, it's like uh, I'm, I'm gonna go over here now. You, you, you just let go, of it, you know. And that's what I hear about a lot in near-death experiences, is that they just let go of it. And that's the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of death, near-death experiences, is the fact that a lot of people when they have near-death experiences, they have a, a sense of wanting to just break free and let go, just forget. Like they don't even. They, they know they're not going to have no regrets or no remorse or no, no, no bad feelings about letting go. You know, it, it isn't like dropping off your, like trying to get rid of a, a, a puppy that you can't train, you know, and just putting it out in the, forgetting about it in the park or in the desert or something, you know how some people do, they abandon it because they can't take care of it because it's too crazy. People don't feel that way about their previous lives. They just let go of it. It's a dream. They just let go of it. And, and the other thing too is that a near-death experience is what I've come to kind of a, um, to realize. And I, I wanted to talk about this little last little thing that I think that the, the mediums and the spiritualists maybe don't know. But what I've come to realize after watching the videos is that uh, in a near-death experience, um, there seems to be something going on when a person is having a near-death experience. Near. There seems to be... Uh, more um, magic and power there. Like there's always magic and power and I feel like always love there. But I think that um, the, the spirits and the living body, the higher self and the living body, there's something going on to where uh, since, since the living body is still not fully dead and the spiritual self knows it and the subconscious mind of the living body knows it in the, the back of the mind, they're trying to take advantage of that moment where the, because they know the body's gonna be revived they they they, they, premedit, they premeditate that the doctor's gonna bring him back, or or that the, the living body is just gonna bounce back and, and start breathing again or something, and the spirit's gonna come back. So like the spirit, the higher spirits are like, they're like, okay, okay, here's a time gap. Okay, we have only so much time before the living body gets revived. Okay, let's bring this guy up, give him a message, and send him all the love and love and everything. Let's give him everything. Okay, let's send him through a whirlwind ride, you know, let's get this, give everything, let's get a message, let's get the mother, let's get the father, let's get the dog, let's get the, the parents, and, you know, let's get everything at him, you know, we only have a certain amount of time, let's give this guy a message, he's, he's, his body's gonna be revived in a few minutes, Let, let's, let's, let's take him through a whirlwind ride, you know, that's what the spirits are doing, is that they, they, they have this time limit, this time limit, and what they do is they have those, for near-death experiences, they have specific, uh, um, specific strategies and specific things, special things for those specific situations so that they can send that message to that spiritual uh, dead self and, and tell them, hey man, you know, here's all this love and here's all this information and here's all this visual stimulation. Give that information back to the living world and tell them that there's an afterlife, you know, that, that's, what the, that, that's what they're doing. So only for those specific special events, near-death experiences are the are the biggest way in order for a person to receive and give information back to the living. Those those events is where the spirits are kind of like they work in high levels, you know, high frequency. They all work together. You know, and, and, and they try to squeeze in as much as they can, you know, before the, the time of death, all the way until the, the revival of the person. You know, and uh, 
those near the experiences are very precious and, and a lot of part of those into them. But when a person actually dies, I believe that it's not the same be because the optimism is not there. The optimism in terms of um, because because when when you have a near death experience, the person is kind of like shell shocked. They're 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 in a daze. They're confused. You know they don't know what's going on. You know and um. The, the spirits can just be like, okay, here's a chance. He's, he's, he, he doesn't know what's going on. Let's go down there. Let's get him, pick him up, take him up to heaven, show all this love and, and tell, him, tell him that there's an afterlife and da 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 da. And like that, that, that's what they're doing is that they're trying to kind of get in there. But when you're actually dead, that optimism and that energy level is kind of like uh, normalized because your ego is now there. You know, um, that the, uh, uh, they know that you're gonna question a lot of things. You're not in a daze. You're not confused. And if you are, you're gonna be out of it too soon. And a lot of angels they do come to kind of beckon you to go to heaven. But since you're you are your own person, you're gonna say no, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay. I'm not done. You know. And uh, it's kind of different when you're actually dead. No one really knows what happens. But it seems like near death experiences, the the spirits they they put on a parade. You know, they throw oh, all this confetti and everything and and they still do if you want to go to heaven you have to beckon it but uh, the, the, the thing is though is that the, the person the ego of a person is always stops them from them. when you die you just gotta beckon that light and the thing is though is that that's an earlier experience I want to talk about different topics and sorry that video is long but uh yeah that, 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 that that's basically what it is and um um, um like when, when you die and it, uh, it's like a dream when you pass away, it's like a dream, you know? You wake up from a dream. You're waking up. When you're living, you think you're, you're alive, but you're actually dreaming. When you wake up, you can just let go of all of it. You don't care no more. You just let it go. And uh, this is Rich Cispidus. Thank you guys for watching. Matt Catch